If only there were a way to repay you for what you've done. You could give us some supplies and some money. Essential workers at everyone calling them heroes while they work for minimum wage through a pandemic. I wonder if Chuck E. Cheese porn exists. Frick 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 this is heroing why who the frick who the frick 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 uck I had a life ahead of me what the frick. You are not a horse. The FDA said us poison control hotlines received an influx of calls from people trying to treat or prevent COVID-19 with ivermectin, an anti-parasitic drug, found at livestock supply stores. Stop it, the agency added, losing it at this. This literally sounds like a Welcome to Night Vale segment. When I was a kid, I faxed my dad's satellite office drawings of horses. I had watched my father send so many faxes that I had the process memorized. Except, for some reason I thought that I could fax things to grandma. I put in the numbers for the office every time, but was convinced that the faxes were going to grandma. I also didn't think to inform my parents that I was doing this. My dad visited the satellite office. 3 hour drive one day, and discovered their conference room whiteboard absolutely covered in my drawings. The guys thought it was adorable that I sent drawings and letters to them, and didn't tell my dad because they knew he stopped me. That's one of the cutest things I've ever heard. Cool girls are everywhere but it's such a challenge to find one guy that's like mildly interesting to talk to. It's like they all have the personality of an actual Adidas sandal. Maybe you're a beach. I mean I definitely am. But you're still boring. Let's say your matrilineal line is fairly consistent and everyone has their daughter at 25. So 4 women in your matrilineal line are born every 100 years. In a thousand years. That's only 40 women. Like the math is so simple and yet, you don't think about it. So in 2000 years, 80 women. So basically, 0 AD started roughly about 80 mothers ago. That's it. I'm, I'm a little drunk and cannot deal with this right now. Yeah, the advent of agriculture around 9500 BC was about 450 mothers ago. You can't just say crap like that without a warning. My favorite superheroes are always the ones that are incredible talented and powerful with an amazing legacy of things they have done and people they have saved and allies in all the right places. But when you look at them as a person, absolute human disaster, 10 out of 10 would forget to put a lid on a blender before turning it on, would forget their own birthday, would walk across town before realizing they forgot their car and their shoes. Back when I worked at Walgreens I didn't know which hazel was a real thing people would come in asking for it and I'd be like yeah it's on aisle 3 next to the Wolfsbane and I have new you freaking idiot bastard. So, Wolfsbane is also a thing and I have new is just the old to me way of saying mustard seed. By Talus this can't be happening again. Come on boy, Achilles, he was that a pun? In the commentary the directors say that they named the horse Achilles for the sole purpose of making this joke. It's as amazing as it sounds. I did an OnlyFans shoot in your merch. I refuse to believe you. Human fingers can detect nano size objects. This means you not only have the ability to feel a tiny bump the size of a large molecule, but if your finger was the size of earth, you could determine the difference between a house and a car. And yet it's still almost impossible to find the end of the tape. Cowards, I can already tell the difference between a house and a car. Video game things I'm good at, knowing every obscure scrap of lore ever introduced, being pretty bad at the actual game, you forgot one, having fun, I respect you. I don't have a name you can call me because I don't want to be acknowledged, hope this helps. PS 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 Clueless white guy orders food in perfect Chinese, shocks staff and has his crap sucked clean by Dark Void the Immortal. Coming home from a 4 day trip makes me feel like that little gay guy from The Hobbit. Do you have the slightest idea how little that narrows it down? If you got like a 100 kilo bag of glitter and opened it up and left it in the path of like a tornado I think that would be interesting. I don't care about ecological damage VTW. Every time you mention biodegradable glitter on this post I pour another gallon of oil into the Atlantic BTW. I be like OMG, I have so much to do, and lay down all day. 
I think I need to start enforcing a bedtime on myself. I just put two frozen mice to thaw in my tea. H. How do you? How do you make that mistake? Decide you want tea. Fill the kettle and start boiling water. Place a mug on the kitchen counter and put a tea bag in it. Remember you are going to feed the snakes this afternoon? Go get the mouse thawing cup and put it on the counter. Hear the kettle about to boil and pour some of the almost boiling water into your mug. Remember the snakes. Open the freezer and get out two frozen mice. Remember how excited you are to have tea. Go back to the counter and put the mice in your mug of hot tea. So this is what the advanced level of I drank from my mug of paint water looks like. Question. Did the snakes get tea mice or no? Turns out my snakes love the taste of English breakfast tea. Do you ever just know? Do you ever feel that certainty? That Mario's mustache is made of bone? Stepped on a plum. Overripe plum. Barefoot. It was on the driveway got out of the car and accidentally didn't know it was there. Stepped on the plum. Warm. On the ground. It had fallen from the tree. Barefoot. No shoes. Wearing long pants. Too long. Need to hem them. Plum Viseria got on them. The pants. Unexpected plum on the driveway. Hot plum. 97 degrees out. Already super hungover. Throwing up all morning. Should not have been driving at all. And I stepped out of the car. Black car. 97 degrees out. And onto the plum. Unexpected. Didn't know the plum was there. And it burst. Plum nightmare on my only good pair of sweatpants. Still we find ways to keep ourselves going from day to day. Why were you barefoot if you were driving? Forms a closer psychic plus spiritual bond with the car. Somebody post negatively about the ocean. I have a meme I want to use. The ocean is bad and puts sand in my hair. Okay land walker. Rapture chair. We are atheists but our son was a believer. This was the chair he was sitting in when he was raptured. Selling it because it no longer matches our home daker. Price firm. What is your stance on the existence of cherries? Virginity is a social construct it doesn't define anyone. I'm talking about the fruit. The shrekuality of the person is irrelevant. Government scientists be like I have a degree so I'm smarter than you. Give me more money so I can see if this baby chimpanzee cries when I hit it. Anti-science cringe. The average science enjoyer. Goes to an art museum. Wow yum. Blushes. Tits in here. Blue Powerade is pure water. That crap what comes out of our faucets is watered down water. Self care is over we are mixing various drinks into mysterious concoctions in order to study. I made a mistake. Hey. Wanna see my cams? Go to prubhub.frick slash grotesque meat hair to see what's under my dress. I'm flying high, baby, goodness, I'm so high up, this choice will make you a male character. Yeah sure frick it why not, assigned Austin Powers at birth. There are only two genders, Austin Powers and Dorothy from the Wizard of Oz. The game is a sleeper agent activation phrase for anyone who was in the middle school between 2006 and 2009 and apparently people any younger than that are blissfully unaware of the psychological warfare of the game. Tell me what it is. Tell me what it is. Tell me what it is. Doesn't matter. We already lost. Air filter. Air exhaust pump. Plumbing. Ladder. Emergency oxygen. Periscope. Food. And water. Radio. Geiger counter. Batteries. Loops. Brother. As the cold war comes to a climax, one must have all the necessary supplies. Brother. My doctors. Dr. Baby Mario. Dr. Baby Luigi. Dr. Baby Peach. Dr. Baby Daisy. They aren't old enough to go to medical school. This is fraud. And they are all unethical quacks. Carliel and Ero from Twilight were married and their lives were like a sitcom. Ero was always going. Oh Carliel. In an exasperated voice. And shooting a smile at the camera. No one seemed bothered by this. Still a better love story than Twilight. No, you hang up first. Am I the only one who is self-conscious about my windshield wiper speed when it's raining? Like I gotta watch other cars to make sure I'm not being too dramatic. 
I hope all my mutuals get their dick sucked and their pussy ate. Me at anything ever. It's like that one episode of Spongebob. Love this guy. A well loved and squishy friend. Why do my Amazon reviews read like crap posts? The real power ball was the friends we made along the way. Me about me. Is she okay? Help us out. Is this sensitive content? Yup. No. Help us out. Is this sensitive content? Yup. No. Tumblr's definition of sensitive is funnier than anything that's ever been posted on this hell site. Do you think in the 1700s there were people who were like Nam and Mozart's a total sellout I only listen to peasants beating things with sticks it's way more authentic. People who know second aid, the medical system. Weekend with the boys. I'm glad you're all getting along so well. Or Ace. Ape got frustrated and tried to beat us with clubs so we had to vaporize him. But other than that it was fun. Me to my friend. LOL I actually burned my tongue so bad trying to drink that coffee man I was dying ass. Kid who took one philosophy class crawling out of the bushes. You think that's what dying is like? F all. Real death is heartbreak because. A million clementines. A million clementines thrown at my body at the same time. But if I don't hyperfix it I'll get depressed and die. Runs out of hyperfixations oh god oh frick. Lies in bed feeling empty and useless for 48 hours. Desperately digs through old hyperfixations there must be something. Flips through my mental rala dex no 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 no. Can we listen to something besides Russian synth pop? Beach boys, city girls, mountain goats, ain't this the trio from Percy Jackson? A cough is just a crunchy breath, a yawn is just a boneless cough, why the frick do these make sense? At my autopsy, mortician, makes the first incision, me, confetti comes flying out of my chest cavity with a little trumpet noise, cause of death, just being an idiot, a clown, a big ol' fool. The Shrek show tension when you and your crush are online on Facebook at the same time and you just stare at their little green dot, and suddenly you know what Gatsby felt like. This is actually the most profound and appropriate literary illusion I've encountered so far this week. Stop. Fetishizing. Huge age. Gaps. They're super toxic. And. Creepy. And. Predator like. Frick you got against white said Tethio. What? I ain't read this right my bad. I wonder what my dog named me, this messed me up. Who remembers Barbie as the princess and the pauper? Now that's a movie that deserves a Broadway bound stage adaptation. The barking cat might be hard to cast, but it's a challenge I'd be willing to take on. Why are people so impressed with kangaroo pouches? Oh wow, an animal has a built in place to store things. You ever heard of a butthole? NYPD patrol pig pans it up downtown. He's New York's winest. This is important. No explanation provided or required. What kind of hummingbird is this? Listening to a cruelty free podcast that let the hosts run around in the yard during pre recorded and breaks. Podcast host, so what's your take on this? Guest with a crappy mic who is also driving. Well CNCHDHDHSJDSJJSSHFJCJJDJDJDJDJDJDJDJDJDJDJDJDJDJDJDJDJDJDJDJDJDJDJDJDJDJDJDJDJDJDJDJDJDJDJDJDJDJDJDJ
people are starting to put out hummingbird feeders, you'll know what that means. The plague doctors are returning. Nature is healing. Special thanks to all the 10 year olds out there for making all those music lyric videos on YouTube. Girl that big ass rat walked up to me and started sniffing me I thought it was someone's dog at first but I looked and Stuart Little was looking back at me. I hate New York. Howdy folks and hi Marcy. I hope that you all enjoyed episode 296 of Top Tumblr Memes. If you did, feel free to drop a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And if you're able to go the extra mile in supporting myself and supporting the channel, feel free to click the join button next to the subscribe button and become a channel member. I would really appreciate that. Thank you all for all the interaction I've been getting on the chan uh, on the on the videos and on the channel, all the commenting, liking, all the new subscribers. I really appreciate it. Let's keep that effort up as we're on our way to break 13,300 subscribers. That would be amazing. So let's keep up this this energy. I love it. I, I like the I like this energy that we have. I'm glad that you all have been approving of my lounging outros. Uh, as you can see, I am once again laying in my Airbnb. I should by next week probably have my cat because I'm going back up to Orlando for Labor Day. So when I climb up there and then when I come back. I'll be doing better outros, so I won't be lounging anymore unless that's, you know, such a big hit that I continue to lounge, if that's the case, so that, that can be the case. Maybe that'll be today's question of the day. When I get today's question of the day, let me know in the comments. When I get my camera back, should I continue to lounge seductively on the bed, or should I return to my normal seated outros? Let me know in the comments. I am coming out with, of course, a, um, oh my gosh. Top of the month for August, the top uh, r slash the top post on r slash number for the month. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Top post from r slash tumblr for the month of August, so keep an eye out for that, as well as another Twitter, top Twitter tweets or whatever that I have from Tumblr, as well as a Yahoo Answers on Tumblr, a Tumblr user. So keep an eye out for those videos. I hope that you all have a wonderful morning, evening, afternoon, night, whatever time of day it is for you. I'll see you all tomorrow with episode 290, 297. Peace out, guys.